And good evening, Possibility War fans. Uh, it is the 30th of October, 2022. Tomorrow is Halloween. <laughs> this is the 16th uh, weekend, the 16th Sunday evening that we have been playing uh, Relics of Power 1, the original Relics of Power 1, the Destiny map. Um, and tonight uh, we finally get into Act Three. Uh, I have uh, I have the next four adventures um, at least planned as far as names go. <laughs> um, uh, two of them are actually adventures from the Delphi Missions books, um, and then. Uh, the the other two are going to be sprinkled in between, and and those are going to be uh, more relics of power stuff. Um, I intend to to start working on those, uh, getting those set up this week. All of that being said, um, we're going to go ahead and get into the game. You know what, Ginger? What do you remember from last week? Uh, last week, uh, the building was counting down to destruction. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, I urged everybody to get out, get out uh, as best as possible. Mm -hmm. um, tried to even, <laughs> you know, get the ninjas to chase me out the building so hopefully they could get out too, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, while I successfully made it and uh, hunkered down out of the blast radius, found. Rios, doing just fine, um, and uh, to my relief, Nightbird and Criss Cross came flying down from a window. They leaped from the building window, <laughs> of all things. Uh, it's expressway. <laughs> you know, they did the superhero landing in the parking lot. Wow. Uh -huh. um, then, uh, uh, but we're still, tr we were, uh, then, um, I went to help people because the building blew. So I don't know what, for sure, if we found Arturus and, and, and Andon? Yes. Yes, Arturus and Andon, uh, did come out and you guys managed to get away very nicely. Yeah, I did encourage them to, uh, get to, uh, wherever we said we'd meet up and maybe a hotel where, where I would meet them once. I, I did what I could for the, the people fleeing the, the blast radius. Mm -hmm. Which means I staggered in looking like something the cat drug in hours later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Remy, what do you remember? We're going to kind of switch things up a little bit. So we were all able to escape and while uh, Peaches was working to help put out the fires and anybody that was injured uh, the rest of the people went back to the hotel where we ran into Chess and we got a little bit more of uh, information that was uh, pulled from the computers and then afterwards everyone was able to rest and Arturis took a at least like five showers to make sure he was clean and did not smell <laughs> okay. of blood of yeah. old dried blood. Of old dried blood. Well, you succeeded. Thankfully. <laughs> so you now smell more like Old Spice than you do um, blood and guts. And I am also one weapon down because I left my axe. My axe. Okay. <laughs> my... Oh, I left well, it. <laughs> well, Gimli's not going to be happy about his axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I could lend him one. Uh, <laughs> you can have still, my axe. Well, I at least please. have my spear and my bow, so that's that right. You got your spear nothing. back. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, is it in your sheet? Let's make sure it's in your sheet. <laughs> the spear, yes. Okay. I do have it. Okay. Did it get improved though? That's the question. Um, Artorius, uh, gear, spear. Okay, it looks like... Let's see, did I note anything there? Silver-tipped. Special traits. It can be thrown. It's kind of a custom design. Okay, yeah. Everything's good with that. 
Did anybody else have any weapons or anything that uh, they were waiting to get back from uh, the council? No. Okay. That I remember. If I don't remember, it's I guess gone forever. <laughs> Well, not necessarily. One of us will eventually remember, and then we'll go, oh, I could have had a V8. So, okay. okay. Hmm? Go ahead. I think Andon lends Artorias one of his daggers. Uh, yes. Yes, he did. Um, did you ever hand that dagger back? Let's see what you got here. Come on, pop open. Okay, fine. I'll pop you open. I want to say I did. Uh, dagger? There's Yeah, there's a dagger in that sheet. Okay. Yep. Yep, you did. Okay. Um, then, in that case, Chris, do you have anything to add to what's already been said? Uh... I mean, other than the, we got the location of uh, our neck where we need to go next, which is now in the living lands. We uh, we hacked into the 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 download that I got, mm -hmm. uh, and Chess, I guess, is with us. I mean, have we established that he's going to be coming with us, or um, or is he on his own? Kind of like, nope, you guys can handle this. Um, I think he was on his own. Um, I, I know that he looked. Uh, he hooked up with you guys uh, last week to help decipher the files that you needed to get this far. But I think he left after that. I, I didn't. I didn't uh, say anything in particular, and nobody asked him if he was coming along. So, so let's say no. He's not there right now. But okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, then Rios, do you have anything to add? Uh, nope. Okay. All right. So let's see. We've we've done that. We've done that. Okay. Uh, if you don't already have your character sheets open, please open your character sheets and go to the top tab on the right. Uh, and look at your movement. Or it says stat. So yes, yeah, stats. stats. There you go. Gear, powers. Uh, I have. We all have stats up if we're looking at skills and attributes. Yeah. Uh, what I need you to do yeah. is look at your derived values and see move and run. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, y now, if you look at the map, you're going to see it's kind of sparsely populated as far as jungle plants and stuff go. Uh, imagine it being more or less a mess of plants. Those now, are. So each tree is like the biggest tree of like a bunch of five. Or just a bunch, period. Anywhere from three to, say, 20, you know. Um, but yeah, it's you guys can kind of see what's going on, but uh, I it's obvious to me I did not make a very good jungle. So, um, but that's kind of on purpose also. You want to actually be able to see your tokens. Anyway... You, you guys can actually move through everything uh, in this in this jungle so far. And when you get to a certain point, there's there's a wall I have to remove, stuff like that, I, that I put up to kind of help represent thickness and what you can and can't see. Um, but oh. leave... Hmm? I apologize. Move, run. I see toughness. I see armor. And I see fatigue. Right. I have two fatigue for zero armor. Uh-huh. Yeah, it doesn't uh, look good to me. Yeah, if let me... Uh, you, it doesn't look if right If you gain me. the fatigue status, you'll gain two instead of... Yes. One. Yes, Connor is absolutely correct. Um, two is the base fatigue for um, for taking shock uh, in combat. Okay? Okay. So the only way that that really applies is if you type it in. Now... The fellows uh, for the Tor game system are working on uh, getting damage applied for things like fatigue uh, from the cards directly and uh, while you're in combat, um, you know, everything like that. So when okay. that happens, you'll automatically start taking shock if 
you take a fatigue result somewhere. Yeah, but I'm wearing mesh armor. Why is my armor zero? Hmm. Wait a minute. Hold on. Armor is zero. Gear. Uh, l let me look at the active effects. Uh, okay, your era mesh clothing says it is not on at present. Is it on? It should be. How do I turn it on? Okay, go to effects, which is the second tab from the bottom. Click on that and hit the check mark. Okay. There you go. And then when you go back to stats, it actually, our era mesh clothing is actually an armor of two. Oh, excellent. Good. So, I wondered what, what, where it went. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for the rest of you, please look at your sheets and, and look at your effects and see if you are indeed armored up. Uh, uh, if you want to be armored up. If you don't want to be armored up and you are, let me know because we can take care of that too. Okay, so how do I tell if it's on or not? Because instead of a check mark, I have like a little hand print. Oh, no, no, no. No, I need you to go to the effects tab. The, uh, yeah, the equipping uh, hand, if I'm not mistaken, does not work yet. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Yeah. yeah. If, it's a, if, it got, if it has a little X on there, that means you'll be taking it off. If it has a check mark, you click that, and it'll uh, go into your passive effects. Correct. Gotcha. Correct. Sweet. Okay. All right. That was a good question. Okay. All right. Um the oppressive, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, sorry, I've got to do something real quick. Okay, the oppressive heat brings back memories of bad days early in the war, seemingly so far back in time now. Though the invasion began less than six months ago and the possibility war has been raging since, day one feels as though it were a decade ago and your body tends to agree with that assessment. Uh, your sweat, the strategically torn clothing you've suffered, based on the world laws of the living land and the opposition you assume has been on your trail which you've been eluding for hours since early this morning have brought exhaustion and a desire to be done already now I'm going to take uh, kind of a short break here and just explain however you guys decided to get into the living land whether it was by a vehicle driven by another storm knight who subsequently drove that vehicle out or you got horses in that were perhaps taken back by a um, uh, or watched over by a, a wrangler uh, none of that really matters at this point Okay, you're here now. Either way, we're on foot now. Either way, yeah, you kind of needed to be on foot for the last little while. Obviously, with horses, you could get closer because horses are quieter than a car engine. Um, but you, you definitely wanted to sneak up to this place. Okay? Um, gotcha. All right. Uh, you may be driven by several reasons, such as the threat of an atomic bomb put into the hands of an insane High Lord, or worse yet, an insidious madman bent on supplanting his High Lord. Maybe all the problems inherent from many directions at once to a world-altering race such as this one, uh, where, exhausted or not, you have to keep moving, or people will die, keeps you moving. On your way to the drop-off in the Living Land, you were also briefed about a greatly undocumented threat that has recently popped up on the Delphi Council's radar, potentially worse than Baraka himself. A tall, powerful Adenos who once belonged to the Red Jaw Clan, Thrakmos, an enemy of Lanala and Baraka, now leads the White Spear Adenos Clan in the Midwestern U.S. He commands legions of Adenos, humans, Gosbog, and many and the many creatures, both alive and undead, who were already extremely dangerous in life, but now even more so. You were briefed. It may be possible you're too far south and will not face them, but you don't know. The Delphi Council provided survival packs, which have been helpful already, but are heavy and cumbersome. Then, just as the heat is getting ready, uh, getting ready, uh, getting to be enough to force complaints from you, noises from the archaeological dig outlined in the Kanawha computer file from the Cherry Blossom Research Park come to your ears. The memory of the destruction born there by Kanawha's bomb is yet prevalent in your mind. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and get an initial movement. Uh, my recommendation is don't run. There are vines and stuff like that up in this part that you've already been stepping over and in the short period of time that you've been walking and with the previous experience at least um, Peaches and Chris had uh, in, in the living land, you know that it's probably not a good idea to run unless you really want to end up flat on your face or worse. Is the dig side this way or is it more this way? Uh, yes. So it's on the other side of this ridge? Basically. Okay. Okay, so you guys can move forward up to your dex limit. Oh, somebody just dropped off. There we go. Well, we can't move until you unpause. Oh, the hey! Game. I should unpause the game. <laughs> man, you always One. you always pick on me about that, man. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I thought there were trees in front of me, but it's just bushes. What? Uh, well, there it's kind of a mixture. These are the larger bushes, like uh, uh, Connor was pointing out earlier. Um. Uh, but I mean, they're they're kind of tall trees with a bunch of bushes around them, and so your your viewpoint is kind of of messed up. So, uh, would you please move Anden also? Where is he? he oh, is... He's back far from me. Oh no, no, that's Octarius. Well, oh. Anden is actually right here. I don't see him. We mean you don't see him. Oh, there we go. Uh, he's okay. better camouflaged than you thought. Yeah. I I couldn't see him just by clicking the area. I had to, like, click and drag to see him. Oh. That's weird. It, do I have him invisible? Shouldn't be. No, he's not. Huh. He's not moving either. There we go. Right, so where are we moving to? Uh, right now, as far as I know, you're just following the group. Why is he targeted? Okay, it's not my target. Did you target him? <laughs> that, that was <laughs> me to kind of point out where he was. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Are y'all kind of done moving? Wait, now I can't see Rios. What? <laughs> There Hi, we are. I moved too far from one character and I lose sight of the other. <laughs> that is the jungle. Yeah, they they like turn invisible too. And the fact that they're wearing brown and green in the brown and green jungle does not help. <laughs> hey, good camouflage though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lucky, lucky choice. Okay. All right, are y'all done moving? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I'm staying with Chris, or close by Chris, yeah. Okay, so now I need to do a little bit of work. Oh, come on, let go. Okay. Artorius and Rios. Um, yes. Give me yes. find rolls. Okay. I gotta zoom out real quick. Is that gonna be enough? Standard difficulty? Mm. Yes, just a standard difficulty. Uh, and I will be back in just a moment. I've got to. Ooh! Where's he at? There he is. Oh, come on, it was so close! <laughs> it rolled back, you saw it. It rolled back. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was like, ha! <laughs> <laughs> because... <laughs> <That one> cool. <sighs> it, it would have been such a good number, too. Okay, have. so real sure. Now you rolled a three. Uh-huh. Uh, Remy, do you want to try and throw anything at that? Oh. Uh, well... 
Wait, guess are we gonna get our cards? No, not yet. I, 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 I mean, guess I could throw a possibility at it. Okay. My luck, I don't spot it. It's a tripwire, and I blow myself up. No, no, it's it's not <laughs> gonna be I'm, anything I'm, like that. I'm 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 kidding. I'm not being serious. Okay. Okay. So just click the possibility, right? Yeah, yeah. Just click on okay. the possibility. Don't forget to reduce it on your sheet. Or I can oh, act, actually, yeah. I can reduce it I for it. you again. I, I reduced it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay. So that that's a standard success. Um, it got so close to a really high number again. The landed on two. Okay. Uh, I need to grab both of you. I'm in the wrong page. Uh, can you guys go to Discord um, uh, and uh, go to the sidebar, please? Just uh, uh, Rios and Artorias. Roger, Dodger. Okay. 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 All so, right. Can you, you guys, guys hear me? down from a tree, right? Huh? <laughs> I'm hanging upside down from a tree. <laughs> no, no, actually, you're not. Uh, you, you definitely saw m men. Uh, carrying some manner of submachine gun and wearing some manner of headdress. Since neither of you are from the Nile Empire, you don't know it, but you as people, players, uh, will know kind of what the old uh, shock trooper uh, headdress, the old Egyptian headdress used to look like, right? Oh! Okay, and you... Um, uh, Rios, you actually saw two of them, um, but uh, Artorias, you only saw one. And then pretty much all of you were able to move behind other um, uh, other foliage. Bushes and objects. Yeah. Now, I have to roll to see if the one saw either of you, because the other one Ooh. is not looking the same direction. Okay, you guys can go back up. Okie doke. Okay. Um, Chris? Mm -hmm. Let me borrow you for a minute. Uh, so going to the side channel? Actually, you know what? I, I really don't have to. Did you read the note that I wrote for you? Uh, In your DM? Yes, I see it. Okay. Alright, so what I need to do... Should I roll a find? Or... Nope. Nope. You think you saw someone but are not entirely sure and then it's like in the blink of an eye you're you're back uh, uh, you're, you're back behind foliage you're more or less protected so I'm gonna make an out in the open roll but I need this guy okay let me see if I can put him decent and let's see, do they have find? Oh, they do. How nice. Standard. Uh, oh. Okay, so. Uh, Rios and Artorias, you're pretty certain you were not seen. Um, especially since you don't hear the sudden movement of foliage. What would you two in particular like to do? So, so since I'm near Peaches, I'm going to kind of poke. like, hey, uh, Peaches, there's so many people out here in, in, in the jungle. I saw one of them, but I think we're safe for now. But we need to be very careful. All right. I okay. hunker down with you guys. I try to stick together. What did... Uh, Connor, uh, Chris Crossy, because I was standing next to him. Well, um, actually, you, uh, your vision was concealed the entire time. You still, you had uh, several plants between you and him. Even though you're within a meter of each other, uh, you were still unable to see him. That's how thick it is. Wow. Uh, and I'll, so I'll uh, say yes. Let's stick together. Uh, do I notice how how you get down, or am um, I unaware? 
actually, you know what? Now you can give me a find test. Okay. Just a standard number. And roll. Oh, very nice. Um, oh, really, oh, really nice. <laughs> okay, so you hear Artorius um, speaking in little more than a whisper to Peaches, and you hear everything he has to say. So everything that Remy just said a minute ago, you heard also. Oh, man. Would you repeat it again? Because I thought it was private. I wouldn't pay attention. Oh. Uh, <laughs> practically saying that there's some people here need to be careful. Oh, let's be stealthy. Okay. They're in the, tre yeah. they're in the trees. Oh, oh they're up. I, I look up in the trees then. I start trying to pay more attention. <laughs> oh, no. No, that, no, that no you didn't. No, that's a joke. Oh, a joke. my gosh. Joke. No, seriously. <laughs> But, but, but no, we are surrounded by people. There are people around here just to be very careful. Okay, so Rios, you reason pretty quickly that the amount of time you were able to view the shock trooper, um, you stop in a place where... Uh, where he will be able to see you, he and perhaps his compatriot will be able to see you soon. Okay, so you'll have to move. Don't move now because it's it's kind of kind of the the end of the round. Now, do you guys want to keep moving or do you kind of want to hunker down where you are? I think we should keep moving. Staying in one place when they're sweeping the whole area either they're going to find us or they're going to find what we were looking for first. Uh, true. Okay. We, we just need to be very cautious with our movements. Okay. Yeah. We need to get closer. We're to not here. <laughs> <laughs> Where are these things come from? We do need to get uh, close enough to see what's going on. Right. Um, who, do we, who is the stealthiest amongst us? Uh, that would be deck space plus skill. And, well, uh, yeah, that uh, that'll be in your in your character sheets too. Um, my total is uh, thirteen. Oh, that's I not bad. All the way out to see my stealth. Your stealth total is thirteen, Connor. Yep. You have my got stealth? to figure out why you can't scroll that computer, dude. <laughs> that that's impossible. Computer. That is weird. Any, any computer that is capable of logging onto the internet and a game like this, if you can't scroll with that computer, something is majorly wrong with it. Uh, my total is just an 8. Okay. Well, I, I probably have you all uh, roll individually anyway. Uh, unless you're trying to help one another, and then you could make it a group effort. Yeah, let, let's make a group effort. I, I would think that uh, we're all trying to get closer quietly and mm -hmm. stick together as a group, more let's or less. All hold hands and stick in a line. Not. <laughs> all the leader. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, my, uh, Connor stel is stealthier than me uh, with his total of 13. Okay. So, me too. Um, Rios? And uh, All right. Are either of you sneaky? What's your total? Uh, stealth total. My stealth total is 10, but I forgot to check Andon. Yeah, go oh. ahead and check Andon. Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. His total is 8. <laughs> so let's okay. all follow Connor and... Uh, Connor has point. I'm sorry. Criss Cross has point. We'll follow him because he's naturally a sneaky son of a gun. Um, he'll pick the path and we do our best to follow along quietly. Okay. In that case, Chris, go ahead and roll stealth plus three. Okay. So, shit. So, for input existing... Uh, hang on a second. Should I select that? Um, no, 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 no. 
Because you're you're not doing anything that's existing. Uh, okay. Stealth. So I just need to put three. Got um. It. Yeah. Standard difficulty number, and then down there where it says other modifiers. Um. Uh. Type in uh, combined action or capital C capital A, and then in the effect just put three. And let's actually rolling. hope it does what it's supposed to do. Oh! Ooh! Dang so, it, dang! Okay, so modifiers plus three. It did. Bonus. Uh, okay. 26 versus a 10 standard. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, okay, come on. In the hell? I'm not trying to reset storm. Oh, I gotta move that out. I'm not trying to reset storm night possibilities. Okay, do you see the four shock troopers that I just revealed? I see one. I see one. Yeah. Oh, I see and I see another. Two to the left and two to the right. Ah, there they go. Oh yeah, They're yeah. Peaches, wrong, yeah, yeah. Peaches could see them all once they moved. I only see one. Okay, uh, so Rio should be able to see a total of three. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, Artorias should be able to see part of one. Yeah, yeah I see one. Yeah, Peaches can see everything. Follow the leader. And then, Chris, you and can see the two that are to your right. And I see two over here. Do you? Because oh. I'm, I'm clicked on your... Okay. I know, sorry, I... I had my character deselected, but yeah. I oh. saw for a second. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, now that I selected my character, I don't. All right. So, um, so you kind of see those two. Um, let's see. Uh, Connor, deselect your character again, like you were before, please. Okay. Okay. So you see these two seem to be coming this way. You see the measurement. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then these two seem to be going on an opposite course. Uh, a patrol. Two patrols, in point of fact. So what would you like to do? Uh, this is basically uh, what I'm calling a player's call. Okay. So, I have a feeling that they're just going to keep on marching on in a straight line, not really paying much attention because they've been doing this for hours by this point, yeah? Um, I don't know about hours, but sure. I don't know their schedule. I didn't make it. So, you know, with, you know, so they're probably heading, you know, this, you know, this direction mm -hmm. and they're heading this direction. Mm -hmm. But there will be like a certain point of time where, you know, these people over here can't see, you know, see because of the fo foliage, mm -hmm. and these people will have passed. So we could sneak behind them and get up onto the cliff, you know, cliff face over here. May I offer an alternative? Go ahead. Just wait. Wait where you're at. Okay. Everyone drop! Basically to the ground. <laughs> huh. Okay, so y you guys kind of do go to ground. And let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Oh, 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 oh. oh shit! They stop to talk to one another. Uh, of course Eight, they. Nine. <laughs> okay, so let's see something here. Okay, they spend about five minutes uh, commiserating and just being individuals. Okay, um, and then. Uh, these two continue on their way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, 
nope, I don't want to move Artorius. I don't, uh, stop. I don't need to move Artorius. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so they pass by like that. Um, this group, on me. this group over here, uh, disappears back into. Uh, uh, in fact, they both groups kind of disappear back into the jungle. Um, all you have to do is wait another minute or so, and they'll be completely out of your way. All right, sweet. So okay. That was a good catch. That was a really nice roll. Um, so you can move forward again. And okay. I have a wall to destroy. So again, you know, just your, your basic movement. Two, three, four. Okay. That takes care of that. I'm going to... Stop right now, here and now, take a good look. I want I want you to keep in mind if you're actually standing on that ledge, you well, are. Well, I'm more or less uh, crawling up just to get. As I get closer, I get lower and lower and, until I'm just like peeking over. Does anybody take after Chris and uh, just kind of crawl no. up? No, I'll uh, rely on his inside. I suppose. He can whisper down to us what he sees. Okay, well, where Peaches is right now is kind of in the tree line. If if you're outside of what that ridge is, you're in the tree line. So, and like I said, things are really, really thick. You probably actually have to move palm fronds and stuff just to, to be able to see stuff. But Rios and uh, Chris are exposed, and Peaches, if you move there, you're going to be exposed too. Dang it. So... Yeah, like I said, the, if it if it's on the the ledge, you're exposed. So perhaps Rio, you should have let Andon go first. Well, um, Rios, is that where you want to be? <laughs> <laughs> let Andon go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's he's the valet, so he's I, not very healthy, you know. <laughs> Would it be okay for me to have them switch places real quick? Sure. Sure, you can have him switch places real quick. Okay. Where's Andon? He's hidden. And I presume you have Andon kind of get down? Yeah. Okay, so hang on just a minute. Uh, that one... Oh, why not? Okay. So, these ones kind of pop up uh, for Chris and Andon uh, when you guys do crawl up to the ledge. Um, now, all of the Jakots who are in the bottom, you've got male and female humans, and then you've got a, a non-warrior Adinos that are in this pit. This pit is about... 20 feet uh, it, 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 it varies but it's between 15 and 25 feet in depth depending on where you go um, you have uh, you have a point here 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 and yeah you would see this here where uh, you have poles that have all kinds of uh, D rings that have been pounded into these big, thick telephone pole diameter sort of of, uh, of of places, and everybody that you see within the pit uh, so far, you know what? There's only three more. I might as well just go ahead and reveal them too. Um, uh, are tied to the are are tied or shackled to these uh, to these large poles. Okay. So they're prisoners? Prisoners or what else could they be? I mean, th there are only, you see, three guards, three shock troops who have MP40s. And, and I'll give a good description here in a minute of, of what you guys actually see. Okay? You might have to scroll out a little bit to expand the map, but... Uh, uh, you'll be able to, to see what's going on. Um, 
This giant crater is vaguely shaped like a heart. I'll be darned. That wasn't the design, <laughs> but you're right. Huh. Okay. Okay. Coming to the tree line surrounding the massive dig site, you stop when you feel you have an unobstructed view of the clearing beyond the trees to get a better handle on what you're dealing with here. The first thing all of you notice is a large purple and red tent, a yellow crown about mid-height of the raised top covered in finely embroidered green dragons and oriental symbols. Now, let me kind of move the map around a little bit so that you know what I'm talking about. The sheer quote-unquote walls of the tent have one vertical yellow stripe at each side of the flap opening to the interior and three more, you assume, at equal points around the exterior. This diminutive circus-style tent sits 20 or so feet southwest of the end of a long dirt ramp where these vehicles are... Um, okay, and uh, leading up and out of the dig site to to a pre-war rock pebble road which disappears behind and into long grasses and jungle foliage and then turns off to the northwest from the northeast end of the dig site ramp and the, and that is basically up here oh shift Paul shift okay and that road that I'm talking about is basically this way it kinda goes off the map alright uh, earth movers and half tracks from a bygone era rest near the sharp northwestern slope. Uh, let's see, so they're basically around here. Uh, let's see, within the dig site, some 80 feet away from the near edge, almost next to the ramp. Uh, all of which have been used in their various capacities to help clear out portions of the dig site. Just southwest of them, along the western slope, is a general purpose uh, medium sized tent. Okay? Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, military tent. Whatever is inside is not readily evident, uh, though you hear a kind of a murmuring gurgle coming from that direction. Jacots of the Living Land, the faithful of Lenola, have been taken from the jungle and, as obvious as the whips being used on them, pushed into slave work to uncover that which the evil forces of the Nile Empire are looking for, the artifact known as the Destiny Map. The slaves carefully sift through uh, the stone foundations of what apparently were the buildings of the Stevens Farm, toward the easternmost portion of the dig site. Uh, you estimate nearly 30 Nile shock troops and another 30 Jakots work the site. The shock troops treat none of the Jakots, regardless of race, differently than the others. All are abused equally in loud Egyptian foul language and, un and, <laughs> and unmitigated anger. They are well practiced in dealing with slaves. The southwestern portion uh, let me get you guys back here. The southwestern portion of the dig holds many tents. Oh, sorry, southwestern knucklehead. Uh, holds many tents. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where did it go? Uh, in a loose formation from large campaign tents to simple bivouacs. More than three dozen in all. While the southwestern portion is a, uh, is a long pit dug below the floor of the dig itself. Three makeshift bamboo ladders lean against the northwest wall forward of the pit. The guards that I pointed out to you guys a little while ago basically stand in front of where those ladders are. Um, another two dozen or so slaves rest in the oppressive heat of the day and humidity of the jungle. Three shock troops stand on the nearby dirt mound running the length of the pit, watching the slaves within, though they are always turning in place, walking face away and returning at what seem to be convenient times. However, any bad move on anyone's part and they are ready to fire on any culprit of noise with rounds from their Schmeiser MP40s at the slightest hint of trouble. Looking to one another, you need to decide what to do next. <laughs> 